and are beginning. Okay, so um, we're almost at the end of round one, Rainbow Man. <laughs> yeah, it's, we are. Um, getting close there. One more match to go. And today we're hitting Manor here. Yeah, and we're here with Team Panic. Yeah. Not a very... I know. It's a, it's a good name. Yeah, I'm, they have played I'm, also in the uh, previous tournaments. I'm wondering what the story behind the name Panic is, but let's see what we have. They have two firebugs, one support, and one demo. I haven't seen any firebugs play this tournament actually, so that's unique. Someone calls leg, but their ping all looks fine. Yeah, surface seems okay as well. Alright. So, today it looks like second team holding out at the same spot. It's a good spot. Everything comes from one direction. Some stragglers might come from behind, but yeah, it's a good spot. Um, definitely a classic, huh? One of the classic <laughs> spots. The uh, you know, we in my old team we all always used to call it the Batman Cave. <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, and then when the flesh pound came on, we said, "Oh, it's the Batmobile." Oh what? <laughs> uh, I I don't lights. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm just gonna. Let's go keep talking. They got a scrape coming. Oh, what the hell? He's got a husk cannon. He's. I. He's got a husk cannon and they killed. Oh, wow. Nice double barrel finish there. Nice. In the face. I haven't seen okay, me. So, um, so, yeah, it's definitely fun to see a couple firebugs again. Yeah. But I want, they don't have any sharpshooters. Well, most likely because their view will get obstructed, so they're just dishing out a ton of damage. Ooh. Yeah, and um, one of the great things about Firebug is not that expensive. Yeah. You know, refilling a flamethrower is not too bad. So, do you think they'll save up most of their money, give it to the demo, and just lay down a lot of pipe? Um, I don't know. I mean, pipes are still expensive, you know, four, five, yeah. five each. And um, I'm really interested in how they're gonna pull when Flesh Pounds and Squake go together. I think the demo will take care of the flesh pounds mainly, but Scrake, if it's side by side, might have a few problems. Yeah. And also, what's going to happen with those uh, flesh pound siren combinations? Yes. Because that's where the Yermo could get completely useless sometimes. <laughs> We've seen it happen before, I've seen it happen, and I just quit Don't when that want happens. Those Steamland memories back. Yeah, let's not talk about Steamland here, okay? <laughs> that's. No, no. So far, they dwindled down most of the Zeds. They got about 70 left. Yeah. Good and this so was far. also actually uh, the spot that the previous team holds. Yep. B52. So uh, they did quite well. They got it. The last team got about 25 minutes. How long do you think will take this team? I think they're going to take uh, 26 minutes. 26, huh? Yeah. And the reason why is I think they might lack firepower during the petty. Ah, uh. because um, you know one of the great things about a uh, firebrook is the uh, you know it, it drops traces on the petty, like there's a small fling when mm -hmm. he runs away. So you can see where you're shooting at. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say 26 is a good estimate. I'm gonna be a little more pessimistic because I believe in Murphy's law and say 29 <laughs> minutes. Well, let's not make any $50 bets, huh? Because, uh... Hey, you stole me 50 bucks from last time, so I'm still expecting that to come in. Anyone who hears this is witness to our little bet. <laughs> now, will you like to redeem yourself by making another $50 bet? If you win this time, well, you'll get your money back, and we'll owe each other zero. Ooh, it's a nice stunting with the Huskan guy. Yep. Alright, way's complete, or head to the trader. They skipped 16 seconds last time, let's see how much they can skip this time. I'd be quite interested if they already go for armor. I don't think so, but... Hmm. Actually, actually, well, let's see the loadouts. Yeah, demo is probably gonna get MTD2. Yeah. Because this is a flash flesh pounds. Unless they got something else planned. There we go. Yep, M32 right there. A absolute classic. Oh, uh, I remember those days when there were certain weapons we didn't have. Back in the days when there was no AA-12. Hmm. That was a long okay, time so, ago. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, are we going to skip already, or? 
Let's see, they got... Yep, they skipped about 13 seconds, so... Not bad, not bad. So here comes that a was, flesh pound. That was roughly 5 minutes, including trailer time for wave 6. Yep. So let's see how to deal with the flesh pound, right there. Grenade, grenade again, fire, and grenade. Yeah, that seems about right. The other question is, once uh, you go to the later waves where you get more sets, mm -hmm. are they going to keep up with the ammo? Because that flamethrower can deplete quite fast. Yeah. The flare guns are uh -oh. good, but... Here comes a strike! Okay, they will kill it before okay. it killed one of them. That was pretty, pretty hairy. Yeah. Okay, they have another one coming up. Stunned it twice and double barrel to the head. Nicely done. There we go. You're a big fan of the flare guns, Rainbow Man? Pardon? You're a big fan of the flare guns? Quite honestly, I'm not a big fan of flare guns. I never really liked Firebug because they set everything on fire and I just go like, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. So but Usually the sharpshooters, one of the perks who really suffers from that, and um, they don't have one? Yeah, I was playing sharpshooter, of course I didn't have fun, what do you think? <laughs> but yeah, that, that I expect is why they don't have any sharpshooters on this team. Last team we saw had two sharpshooters and two demos, which was a pretty surprising combination, to be honest. Mm. But it did pretty well. Let's see how they do compare to this team. Alright, they stunned the Scrake twice, and uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, they survived that. It got now, a bit there's, scary. There's, there's one other threat in this setup that's... Back spawns. Really destroyed them. Um, well, more like... Um, one, there's so much fire that the demo can't see what it's doing anymore. Which yeah. means if he shoots on the ground, he can blow himself up. You know, fire and explosive don't go. There's well. risk. Oh, there's a flesh pound, and he, they got it. Hold on. Looks like they're running a bit low now, more right now, and with 55, 52 Zs left, I think they should yeah. be okay. All right, one shot stun. Second shot would stun. Yep, and looks like you practice that combo quite a bit. Yeah, they definitely time it right. Yeah. Would he get it again this scrake? One. Uh oh, oh, almost lost it there. But they killed it. Alright, looks like they're doing pretty good so far. A lot of fire. So yeah, okay. after this match, we still have one more team, and that is the Resistance. The Resistance, huh? Yeah, and they come from Brazil. Oh, cool. The Resistance, sounds like something Star Wars. Alright, wave 7 done, with around 8 minutes nearly. So they're going around, looks like, 4 minutes per wave. Four minutes per wave, around maybe 25 minutes, I think your estimate might be closer. Oh, we got the dual flare guns there? Yep. Alright, looks like they're set. They might be able to skip about 30 seconds of trader time. And, oh, they skip a bit more than that. Well done. Alright, wave eight a few more Zeds. Let's see how their combo does this time. It's raining money. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's a flesh pound. A couple nades. Grenades. And it's in pieces. Well done by the demo. Bunch of other big stuff coming in. It's all dead mostly. So it looks like they're firebugs, one's got a flamethrower, the other one's got a big gun. So I think one mm. focuses on the small stuff, the other one focuses on big stuff. That's a pretty good combo. Well, they did uh, do a little bit smart by putting the uh, demolition uh, high on the spot, so you can have a little bit of overview. Far in the back. Yeah. yeah, he's high up, so he's not going to get himself blown up like the one from the last game. <laughs> 
That was unfortunate, yeah. but things do happen, though. Yeah, have to be careful. Double Scrake, one's raging, and... Okay, he's down. He didn't take any damage from that. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Well done. So... Do you think any of them will run out of ammo? Good question. Oh, um, oh that ring just indicates a 10 minute sure. mark. I think, um, I think if you manage to get past wave 8 and 9, and you, you, you manage, you can also do wave 10. <laughs> yeah? If you manage, yeah, I think so, yeah. It depends how they contribute to the ammo. The demo is going to play an important role, you know? How mm -hmm. is he going to shoot groups or just a couple solo sets? Yeah. And and also, are going to people fire, you know, the firebugs have to just, you know, time it a little bit and so not fire both at the whole same time. Mm -hmm. So you have to have quite a bit of coordination here. Like right here. One shot, two shot, and hunting shot onto the head. Yeah, they're well coordinated, that's for sure. Absolutely. But uh, what we all saw yesterday in Steam, man, is that Wave 10 is again the real test of this game. <laughs> yeah, let's see how well they hold up. So, 74 left, most of them still have pretty good ammo. Looks like the. Oh, here's the next Flash Pound and a Scrag side by side. Ooh. Okay, so Flash Pound Scrag. Okay. Oh, oh no! There we go, that's another demo down. Yeah. It's always this spot, someone blows himself up. <laughs> yeah, the risky, I mean, uh, one of the things about Manor is that the uh, landscape is a little bit uh, curvy. You know, it goes up yeah. and down, there's peaks. Mm -hmm. And that's the tricky part. Yeah, it caused me several problems too, back in the day. I can't aim too well because of the curves and... I can't get my headshots. Yeah, I played sharp a lot. Okay, Oh, uh oh. Let's see how this goes. Oh, the other one's running back. Okay, that's Oh, wow, nice. One more, and there we go. They're just going for strikes like nothing. But it, as we said yesterday. <laughs> oh, 24 left. I think they're, they can make their way you know, to the trader. A lot of people actually don't know this, but there's one uh, big advantage this team has over the others. Oh? And that is during the pet waves that when the petty is on fire, he can't heal. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, They'll just keep chasing him. Yeah, if they chase him, you know, they got a good chance of uh, knocking him down. Mm -hmm. But can they do dish out enough damage? That's the question, can they keep up? Yeah, keep with up? one demo and one support? Maybe. Well, we'll have to wait and see. So let's take a look at this uh, one that died. He went to grab his weapon. Looks like he won't be able to skip too much trader time this time around. <coughs> But they'll make up for okay, it. Okay, so this this is quite an investment, you know, to ha have your demolition die, which is one of the most expensive perks in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he got his M79. He Let's picked see. up his uh, M32 earlier. Which, yeah, it's 100% as well, so he got mm -hmm. full ammo. No armor, though. Oh, and that fall damage. At least the rest of the guys have some armor. Yeah. But yeah, he shouldn't need it too much. He's a little bit in the back there. If he plays, if he plays it safe, he shouldn't need the armor. But things happen. Okay, there we got number one. Grenade, and it's gone. And then the sirens come a little too late to cause some havoc. Poor sirens. I mean, regardless uh, of his death in the early wave, he does. Um, you know, he kills quite efficiently. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of demos who are a little bit more efficient tend to throw a grenade down. Yeah. For their rage, so they don't have to uh, reload. You know, they have more bullets. Yeah. Because once he rages, you don't really want to put those put those bullets back in the chambers. <laughs> and say, hold on a sec. Just hold reloading. on, I'm re hold on, reloading. Time out, time out. Flash pounds don't care about timeouts. Oh. Okay, now it's dead. 
Well, that, they can do that pretty consistently. Yeah, they definitely, I think they have some experience doing this before. Yeah. All practice pays off. So what's, what's your guess, uh, Rainbow, for the final finish time of this match? But before that, that ring just indicates our 15 med mark. Looks like these guys are doing well, despite losing 30 seconds of one death. So, yeah. back to my estimate. I think... Well... I'm gonna go 24. You said 26. Yeah. Yeah, let's so say 24. Um, 24, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I'm not betting money this time, cause why should I bet? <laughs> why should I bet money when you already owe me? Good point. Yeah, so I think probably it'd be closer to your estimate, about 26 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, those husks got dead. That's that's the best way I can describe it. Let it. The next interesting question is when at wave 10, how are they gonna deal with those uh, double VPs? <laughs> I think I they'll just. expect them to drop pipes. But, yeah. um. I don't know. Maybe pipes? They do. Maybe, the, maybe the demo will just focus on the flesh pounds and that's it. Nothing else. And let the little things get fried by, uh. The fire bug with the flamethrower. Oh, there's a flash pound. Oh, uh oh. All right, they took it out no problem. Flawless. <laughs> yeah. This definitely is a unique setup, but it's doing its job pretty well. Looks like the demo missed that one a little bit, but not demo. Support missed it a bit, but they recovered. So, just a little more and they're on to wave 10. Looks Let's like they're doing the, fine. Uh, 17 minutes mark. Yep. So they might even be a bit faster than we expected. Can I place my bet down for 24 minutes again? Yep, 24 <laughs> minutes it is. But I'm not betting money this That's time. That's gonna cost you $100 just to place that bet. <laughs> well then... Maybe I... Uh, why not? Okay, so 17 and a half for wave 9. Yep. By the way, means, I, I'm not... Look. Which means they're gonna get back at the cave around 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. Minimum. And then we're gonna spend at least 3 minutes in wave 10. So that's gonna be 21 at least in petty wave. Half minute so, trader time, 20 and a half, so... Yeah. 24 minutes is possible. By the way, I'm not betting $100, I'm betting 100 yen. Right. It's a different type of currency. You can do a conversion later, but you'll realize you'll still be owing me even if I do lose. So what about Dosh? Is that a failed currency yet for you? <laughs> Dosh? <laughs> I'm not sure if Dosh is measurable currency. Alright, they skipped a few seconds there. About yeah. 15 seconds. Oh, Doing good so far. So we got 1 minute 18 on total skipping. Yep. Looks like double flash pounds have come. Oh, Squeaky behind it as well. And a Squeaky, yeah. One Flesh Pound's okay. dead. Oh, the first one comes oh, Okay, he deals the first It slide. came right through, but they killed the second one. Ooh. Looks like the support took a slight hit from that, but he can still take a few more hits. Not too bad, well done. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how the demo got hit a bit, but... He's doing okay. As long as the demo doesn't blow himself up again. So what do you think of this spot, Rainbow Man? Would you hold here if you would do this map? Me? Uh, it's a good place to hold, nothing comes from behind, but I'm a bit of a risk taker, so I would actually instead take the little area at the entrance of the cave just to the left. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, we had earlier the um, other Australian team, Synergy, and they hold on the right of this oh. cave. Now, what was the beauty of that spot was that um, 
you have the trader mm. in the cave and at the docks. Mm. That's right. All right. They they were closer in general with all the traders, you know. They had the two traders in the house, mm. and they could go uh, down in the dungeon a little bit. So that saved them quite a bit of time, huh? Yeah. So they were a little, a little bit more central. Hmm. Yeah. It's all about placement. But this cave, uh, it's a bit. You don't get to see too much outside, so you can't really shoot things from afar. That's the only thing that might be. Okay, that's one straight that concern. goes through. And that ring indicates the 20 minute mark. With 130 Zeds left and a patty. Or Patriarch if you like to be professional. Or if you want to be really personal, just call him Kevin. No, it's Dr. Kevin Comley. Don't forget Doctor. Yep. Cause he went for years to get his PhD. <laughs> Years of research. So it looks like it's calm before the storm, and here they come! Everything just rushes in. Okay, yeah, it seems a big boy on the way. Yep. Seems like a cave so, system. Um, uh, it seems like it. Uh, what's the word? I can't remember the word. Gives him some breathing room by slowing some Zeds down, but oh, there's a flesh found dead. Nice stun, and there there's another a... flesh found. So they didn't come side by side, but looks like gave him some more. So oh, they're moving. Quite they're a bit moving back. Moving back. Yeah. Okay, done All right. as well. Yeah, the siren took out some of the grenades, and uh oh, there's a Scrake right there. Scrake's down. dead. Hosk is dead. All right, so we're recovering. Moving back in yeah, position. Yeah, that's, that's also one of the bench with the firework. You don't need extreme precision. Mm -hmm. It's like you just wave it around. Because I know in a certain other game, there are some characters who just move the mouse around and you'll hit something. Drives me nuts because they don't have to aim. Looks like got a little bit of back spawns coming. There you go, that's clean. But they cleaned them all up. So it seems after all they did manage with the ammo. Yeah. Not too sets left, they should have enough for that. That's pretty good of them. Or very it's good. It's quite important for them to not <laughs> let the firebox fire too much at the same time. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, when you get a little bit trash. Because mm. fire doesn't always kill the Zed. And then, you know, if you put that thing on fire and you still put bullets to it, it's, it can be a little bit of a waste sometimes. Mm -hmm. I like fire, but I'm not very good at controlling fire, so... I just hold down my, uh, what's the... I just hold down left click, oh. Oh, oh he survived, nice. Close call. With one left. Oh, this... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh what?! Wow. That, oh, that was... Oh. That was bad. Oh, this, <laughs> Crawler. This is not, this is not uh, uncommon at all, because uh, it's happened so many times in pub games. People think they finished it, they're done, and they got four sets left, and they attack as any other set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Craw crawlers. It's such a shame because this is costing them quite a <laughs> bit of cash. You know, it shouldn't be. Uh... Cost some cash in 30 seconds. Yeah. So it looks like you're right. 26 seconds. I'll give you 100 yen. Not yet. <laughs> Not, Not yet. yet. Yeah, but either way, you'll be closer. This petty is brutal, and many people know that. Mm -hmm. So far, most teams have been doing pretty well against them. Of water fires. Oh, I wonder where they're going to set up. They're set up in the house. You think they're going to try and lock him in? Let's see where they're going. Well, you know, I don't like the indoor so much because um, it's so rocket sensitive. <laughs> you mean, yeah, rockets will probably kill you pretty easily. Yeah, this. <sighs> Looks like they're laying down some pipe bombs. Okay, the, the other thing is great is that you have an escape route there. You can mm. jump down the hole. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's going he up the stairs. And oh! One's already taken out by gun. rockets. Oh, there's, okay, you got a little bit of there. Yeah. But there's only okay, two so of them left. Okay, let him actually escape. Huh. Actually, he's shooting right around the corner there. Yeah. He's coming you, back. I don't think they'll be able to do just two people left. Because oh. he just walked... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's game. Yeah. Ow. Well... They still got one more attempt. It's a bit unfortunate with the uh, 
one rocket killing them immediate one of the guys immediately yeah because one of the great parts is of outside you, you can see him from miles away coming mm -hmm. and, and you want that knowledge yeah i'd say the only reason to stay inside is to lock him in so he can't run away and heal especially with fire then you can see him but well okay so let's let's see what they take, do with this one all right grenade launcher golden a12 more grenade launchers All right. Let's check out their loadout. Everybody goes armor, which is a great thing. Yep, their revolvers and fireball launcher, a twelve. And only three hundred five left, so they were pretty tight in the budget. Yeah. I don't think they have any pipe bombs. Mm. No. All right, wave starting. They couldn't skip any time. I guess they just wanted people to. Yeah. Uh, be safe. Mm -hmm. So they're using the same tactic, so... Oh! He's already shooting. I think somebody might stand near the window. Ah. Uh, you can see you through a window. Okay. The man is in the house, and he's... coming to the stairs. Firebox already loading his weapon up. Yep. That gun still scares me to this day. When my teammate fires, it's like, oh, there's a hus behind. Oh, it's just you. Okay, he's coming up the stairs. Got him with a few grenades. Quite a bit. Fire. Oh, Cobra is oh, quite a bit yeah. Damaged. And here come the Zeds. Okay, this is, that was the first deal. Alright. Looks like they took a bit of damage because of a rocket. All right, that's dead. Okay, All right. Start to get healed, and time for round two. If they could manage to keep him there, that would be just good. But hmm. Oh, that's just a clock. He got his uh, cloak on, and here we go. Oh, he's In right face. behind him already. Ah. <laughs> That's number two. Cr so Crowbar ran away. He oh, oh, oh fall, fall damage. damage. <laughs> so Crowbar's the only one left. Oh, no pressure. Yeah, he was standing in front, but uh, the patriarch just snuck behind him. Oh, here we go. Time to run around the fence. <laughs> <With a knife. laughs> ah, 94 percent progress. Pretty good. Paddy had 65% of his health remaining. 